After being closed for construction in 2012, the Japanese garden here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory is set to reopen in spring of 2013 as the newly expanded Ordway Gardens. This renovation includes a new additional wing off the Marjorie McNeely Conservatory, outdoor terrace, pavilion, and year-round viewing of the beautiful Japanese garden. Joining me now is horticulture manager Tina, who's going to tell us a little more about the construction project and renovation here at Como. Hi, Tina. Hi, Kathleen. Now, the Japanese garden is a visitor favorite here at Como. What prompted the idea to renovate the garden and add this new wing to the conservatory? Well, after the fabulous wing designs were proposed, we knew that the garden would be closed for the construction, so it was a great time to catch up on all our maintenance and renovation, including the pine treatment and the Japanese garden, replacing the tea, fence, and a lot of other little things that we have been delaying a few years. Now, I understand with this new renovation, we're also getting a new name. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The new name is going to be the Ordway Gardens, a Japanese collection, and that will include our new bonsai pavilion, the terrace, and the Pine Grove Walk, and the Japanese garden, which will now be referred to as the Charlotte Partridge Ordway Japanese Garden. Well, it's a beautiful garden. Lots of us are very excited about the project. So can we go take a look at the construction site? Sure, why not? So we're on site at the construction site for what is about to be the new Ordway Gardens. It's really starting to take shape and looks very nice. Can you tell us what this is all gonna look like in eight or nine months when it's completely finished? In a word, fabulous. It's gonna look fabulous. It's going to be the new wing of the conservatory which is going to display bonsai in this wonderful in glass enclosed pavilion. It, we will have interpretive graphics and that's going to be about 7,000 square feet of exhibit and display space, half of it indoors and climate controlled, and the rest of it in this area where we are standing. We will have bonsai display benches for three seasons display. We will have a lovely terrace, will afford overview looks of the Japanese garden for all seasons of the year. And then we'll also have a very gently sloping pine grove walk, which will introduce and bring our visitors into the Japanese garden. So what this project provides us with is a new entrance and a dedicated entrance into the Japanese garden. It's beautiful. Well, we really can see the outdoor space here is kind of starting to shape up, but why don't we take a step inside and see what the new wing of the conservatory will look like. Great. So Tina, this is going to be the new wing on the conservatory, very exciting. What's going to be on display in here? What's the visitor experience going to be like? Well, this section of the project is called the Interpretive Link, and there will be graphic panels behind you on these walls here, which will talk about the history of bonsai, and we'll also talk about our relationship with the St. Paul Nagasaki Sister City. And these panels will extend all the way down from the conservatory down throughout your journey in the link. We will also have um, different educational exhibits in this area. It will also allow exit onto the terrace if oh, people nice. prefer to um, just see the see the link, see mm -hmm. the interpretives, and then see the bonsai outside. For others, you can continue your journey on into the bonsai pavilion. So now we're entering the new bonsai pavilion. What's going to be on display in here? And this is a really pretty large space. Well, it is, and it will have display tables and bonsai here for viewing year-round. And we hopefully, it's got great lighting potential. And we also will have a viewing window into the Japanese garden. Our visitors will be able to see the garden throughout the year from this window if they prefer not to walk down into the garden. Now we've talked a lot about bonsai plants, which are a big part of the new expansion here, and many of which will be on display with the new exhibit. Can we go take a look at some of the plants that'll be on display here next spring? Why not? So Tina, we're out in the seasonal nursery space for the bonsai plants, and these are really very neat, unique looking. What exactly is a bonsai plant? Uh, well, bonsai are any type of tree or shrub um, some lend themselves better than others to being dwarfed and put in a pot. Um, bonsai in Japanese actually translates to tree in a pot. As you can see, all of these are in pots. 
Normally, most of these trees will grow very large in the landscape if their roots have all the room to spread out and grow and nurture. However, the art of bonsai is keeping the trees very small, but also artistically shaping them so they, they represent or evoke great old age. Um, in the tree. So in other words, it should not look just because it's a small tree, it shouldn't look like a young tree. It is supposed to look like a tree that has been weathered through its lifetime for a long time. Well, thank you, Tina. They are beautiful plants and this addition to the conservatory will be just gorgeous, I think, and really nice expansion to the conservatory and the gardens. If you'd like more information about construction with the Ordway Gardens, or if you want to learn a little more about the history of the Japanese garden, you can visit our website at komozooconservatory.org.